but I still say practice is the biggest thing. What's good, y'all? It's Dre Dollars here again. I'm here to give you five different tips on how to master your rap skills. Listen, you're gonna wanna listen to this. You, I promise you, if you really pay attention and take the time out to like, follow these steps, you will get 10 times better like at your rapping. Whether you're, you're just started or somebody that's been rapping all this time. Listen, I'm gonna start this off by saying, number one, you gotta own your space, man. You gotta feel like you're the best in the world. Nobody else is better than you. Yeah. Even if you feel like other people are the best, you are the best. And you have to personify that you are what you are, uh, your life, and, and everything that entails in it is like, I'm not gonna say fabricate or anything like that. I'm just gonna say, you gotta dominate your own space. When you go to rap, it's like a profession. If you love this, you're gonna personify the fact that you know what you're doing, you've been doing it for however long, and you feel like you can step into any space with your bars. I mean, number two is gonna be relax. After you feel like you are the woman or man or, or, or whatever, then you gotta relax because with that type of energy, it does cause a lot of anxiousness and anxiousness is not good for when you're going to rap it, whether it's like written down or off the dome. I'm telling you, once you start thinking about other things and you're not relaxed and you don't feel what you're seeing, you're gonna slip, you're gonna forget a line, or the performance overall isn't gonna be as impactful as you want it to be or you believe it should be. Number three is gonna be a little bit of a contradiction to number two but you gotta focus. In a sense, it is contradictory, but at the same time, it also go hand in hand. Because once you relax, you need to focus on what you're saying. If you're too relaxed, then you're gonna still forget a line, mess up, not give the performance that you want. Like, when I say own your space, relax and focus, feel like you are the zone. Not you're in the zone, you're, you are the zone. Number four is breath control. The biggest thing that we don't pay attention to, because me, I rap over the top of my head. So that's gonna be a little bit harder for me to like figure out on the fly. Even though I do sometimes, I sometimes end up in a rap scheme or like saying stuff a little bit too fast and it causes you to run out of breath, which is common. But that's why number four comes into play so much because of the fact that you need to remember how to breathe. I, I it's arbitrary at best but at the same time breath control is like one of the biggest factors in which why you would even listen to somebody rap even if they don't say some of the best words lyrics or anything or, or anything pertaining to your life or it's the fact that they got good breath control and they could wrap the whole thing through especially in a performance or even when they're like putting out music that's what's uh, attaching you to the song even if you don't like the song that's what it's attaching to the song Make you able to learn the lyrics all that and number five one of the i would say most important things is cadence you gotta know how to say what you want to say you have to have your own cadence you can take cadences that go on in um rap because it's all relative but at the same time you need to have your own cadence you have to have your own flow you have to have that because if you don't, you have no uniqueness, you're just somebody else that can rap. That's the difference between great rappers and great artists. Now, I don't know which one you're trying to be, you could try to be either, and that's fine, honestly, that's fine. Just that if you wanna be unique, you have to have your own cadence. And I mean, study the cadences of people that you listen to and people that you've never heard, people from back in the days, people in the underground right now. Just pay attention to like not what they're saying, basically how they say it, how they group words together and stuff like that. All in all, that was five different tips on how to master your rap game, but I still say practice is the biggest thing. But with that, I'm gonna close this out here. Thank you for watching the video. I got like eight videos on the, on the channel if you're interested. I also have uh, freestyle videos in my shorts and stuff like that. So, you know what I mean? I do those just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about here. And, um, you know, just tell me if you like one from one you don't and tell me my own tips. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. Have a good one.